Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. The methods employed by hackers to crack paid software are as varied and ingenious as the minds that devise them. Like modern-day digital locksmiths, they employ an arsenal of tools and techniques to pick the locks of software protection. One such tool is the Key Generator, or Key Gen, for short. These cunning programs are designed to generate working serial numbers, the digital keys that unlock the full functionality of paid software. By exploiting flaws in the software's activation process, Keygens allow users to bypass the need for a legitimate purchase, granting them unauthorized access to the software's full potential. Then there are patches, snippets of code that act like digital sutures, stitching over the vulnerabilities in a software's armor. Patches modify the software's code itself, often targeting the mechanisms that enforce copy protection. By altering these critical lines of code, hackers can effectively disable the software's ability to verify its own legitimacy, rendering it permanently unlocked and ripe for illicit distribution. Loaders, on the other hand, take a more stealthy approach. These cunning programs act as intermediaries, intercepting the software's normal startup process. By altering this critical sequence of events, loaders can prevent the software from ever reaching the point where it checks for a valid license. The software, blissfully unaware of its compromised state, runs as if it were fully licensed, granting the user unrestricted access to its features. Once the digital locks are picked and the software is cracked, it enters the shadowy world of online distribution, a sprawling network of hidden corners and covert exchanges. File-sharing websites become the primary conduits for pirated software. Platforms like BitTorrent provide a fertile ground for the rapid dissemination of cracked software. With millions of users exchanging files daily, these websites become breeding grounds for piracy. Juarez forums and online communities, shrouded in secrecy, become havens for the piracy community. Here, like-minded individuals share cracked software and tools to circumvent copy protection. These forums foster a culture of piracy where stealing software is celebrated. Peer-to-peer -peer networks, the virtual back alleys of the internet, allow discrete file exchanges. The lack of a central authority makes it difficult to track down those involved. The allure of free software, of accessing premium features without spending a dime, can be a powerful temptation. But like a siren song, it masks a dark reality, the hidden price tag of cracked software. For beneath the surface of what appears to be a harmless act of digital rebellion lies a minefield of risks, each more treacherous than the last. The most insidious of these risks is the ever-present threat of malware. Hackers, knowing that users of cracked software are often willing to take risks, often bundle their illicit wares with malicious programs designed to exploit the very systems they seek to liberate. These digital parasites lurking unseen within the cracked software can wreak havoc on unsuspecting systems, stealing sensitive information, spying on user activity, and even hijacking devices for nefarious purposes. And then there's the risk of data theft a silent thief in the night that can plunder your digital life without a trace. Cracked software, often stripped of its security features in the process of being unlocked, can leave your system vulnerable to attacks that target your personal information. Login credentials, credit card numbers, even intimate photos and documents can fall into the wrong hands, leading to identity theft, financial ruin, and irreparable damage to your online reputation. Section 5. Malware's Insidious Grip a toxic byproduct of software piracy. The threat of malware in cracked software is a stark reality, ensnaring countless users. Imagine downloading a cracked version of your favorite software, only to unleash a digital plague. Ransomware can encrypt your files, holding them hostage until a ransom is paid. Imagine losing access to precious photos and important documents. Keyloggers silently record every keystroke, capturing sensitive information. Trojans disguise as legitimate software, opening backdoors for hackers. They grant remote access, allowing hackers to steal data and spy on activities. Section 6. Fighting Back – The Ongoing Battle Against Software Piracy In the face of this digital onslaught, software developers and law enforcement agencies alike are engaged in a relentless battle against software piracy, striving to protect the integrity of the digital world and the livelihoods of those who create the software we rely on. Software developers, the architects of the digital realm, have deployed a range of anti-piracy measures, each designed to deter, detect, and disrupt the illicit use of their creations. 
Digital Rights Management, or DRM, systems like Digital Sentinels guard the gates of software access, ensuring that only those with legitimate licenses can enter. These systems, often maligned by users for their perceived intrusiveness, play a crucial role in protecting the intellectual property of developers and ensuring that software creators are fairly compensated for their work. Law enforcement agencies armed with the legal authority to pursue and prosecute those who engage in software piracy are cracking down on large-scale piracy operations, bringing to justice those who profit from the theft of intellectual property. The FBI in particular has made significant strides in combating software piracy, dismantling sophisticated piracy rings, seizing millions of dollars in illicit profits, and sending a clear message that those who engage in digital theft will be held accountable. Section 7, The Ethical Imperative, Choosing the Path of Legitimacy Beyond the legal ramifications and the technical measures employed to combat it, software piracy raises profound ethical questions that strike at the very heart of our digital society. It's a question of fairness, of respecting the hard work and creativity of those who dedicate their lives to building the software that enriches our lives. Imagine for a moment pouring your heart and soul into creating something truly special, only to have it stolen and distributed freely without a second thought. That's the reality faced by countless software developers whose livelihoods are directly impacted by the rampant piracy of their creations. When we choose to use cracked software, we're not just getting something for free. We're devaluing the work of talented individuals, undermining the very foundation of innovation and creativity that drives our digital world. Supporting legitimate software isn't just about following the rules. It's about fostering a culture of respect, of valuing the hard work and ingenuity that goes into crafting the software we rely on every day. It's about acknowledging that behind every line of code, every elegant interface, and every innovative feature, there's a team of dedicated individuals who deserve to be fairly compensated for their creations. Section 8. A Call to Action, Protecting Our Digital Future the fight against software piracy is not a battle that can be won by software developers or law enforcement agencies alone. It requires a collective effort, a conscious choice by each and every one of us to protect the integrity of the digital world we inhabit. By choosing to purchase legitimate software, we're not just supporting the developers who create it, we're investing in a safer, more secure digital future for ourselves and for generations to come. We're sending a clear message that we value creativity, innovation, and the hard work that goes into building the software that powers our lives. Let's educate ourselves and others about the risks of software piracy, the ethical implications, and the importance of supporting legitimate software. Let's be mindful of where we download software from, ensuring that we're obtaining it from reputable sources. And let's report instances of software piracy when we encounter them, playing an active role in protecting the digital commons. Section 9. Conclusion, a world without piracy. Imagine a world where software piracy is a relic of the past, a distant memory in a digital landscape defined by respect, fairness, and a shared commitment to ethical software use. It's a world where software developers are fairly compensated for their creations, where innovation flourishes and where users can enjoy the fruits of digital creativity without compromising their security or their ethics. This is the future we must strive to create, a future where the allure of free software no longer eclipses the importance of ethical conduct and the value of supporting the creators who enrich our digital lives. It's a future worth fighting for, a future where the digital world reflects the best of humanity, not its darkest impulses.